YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and welcome to another Pokemon TCG video on my channel. As you know on my channel we always talk about the latest TCG news in town so be sure you are subscribed so you don't ever miss out. And also hit that little notification bell to get updated immediately once a new video pops up on the channel. Okay today we will talk about Tapu Lele GX. I know you've all heard the news by now but I'm here to confirm it once again. Tapu Lele GX is getting reprinted as a promo card and today we'll be talking about the impact of the Pokemon TCG G scene. We'll talk about the good, the bad, and everything in between. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Okay, first let's talk about why Tapu Lele GX is such a great card and why it's listed as the number one GX card as of yet. First, it has the best ability in the trading card game, uh, the, the ability Wonder Jack. Let's you search your deck for any supporter and puts it directly in the hand. This is so powerful because it brings consistency and uh, Consistency is needed to win tournaments. I heard uh, that everybody nowadays is uh, just always so excited if they get a first turn Tapu Lele. And why is that? Tapu Lele is being played in 95% uh, of all the top decks in town. Be sure to check out Limitless TCG, check out the top decks, and you'll definitely see in the deck list Tapu Lele GX even multiple amount of times. The only few exceptions will be like Sylveon decks, they don't run it at all. All the rest pretty much relies on it. Uh, for example, the first turn Bridget is now uh, a thing right now, and also uh, first turn. Lily is amazing if you get that Tapu Lily and get the Lily out of the deck you can have the maximum uh, amount of draw support thanks to uh, yeah Lily drawing cards until you have eight in the hand on the very first turn first turn Kiawe just think about that it's all amazing thanks to that first uh, turn uh, Tapu Lily Tapu Lily Jax is also really easy to find in the deck you can search it out through uh, Ultra Ball and Mysterious Treasure and Tapu Lily is also most times the answer uh, for a win condition Tapu Lily Guzma how many times have we seen that so Tapu Lele Jax, very very good. It also means that if you have an Ultra Ball or Mysterious Treasure in the hand, as your opening hand, you can always access that supporter of choice and get you rolling. Also if you top deck, let's say you top deck an Ultra Ball, boom, you're back once again. If you top deck a Lele, it's even better. If you top deck a Rescue Treasure to get back a Lele, it's great. So Tapu Lele is very great to get yourself back in the game. I cannot stress enough how good Tapu Lele GX is by uh, yeah, just try out or uh, watching some live stream matches or uh, some recorded matches on YouTube everywhere, you'll see that Tapu Lele GX will be on the screen multiple amounts of time. Uh, ever since Tapu Lele got released in Guardians Rising, we've been seeing it all day, all weekend long. I'm 100% uh, sure you'll see it if you just check out a, a pre-recorded live stream video. Uh, but not only is Tapu Lele GX amazing for consistency and contrary to the old Jirachi EX that also had the same ability, Tapu Lele GX comes back with an amazing move for a double chorus energy. Energy Drive deals 20 damage for every energy attached to both active Pokemon. So in total, let's say you have a DC equipped, you already deal 40 damage. Let's say the opponent also has a DC equipped, you deal 80 damage. So it can stack up to quite the significant amount of damage and it will uh, sometimes two shot, which is amazing. The good news is it doesn't stop there though it only has one retreat cost easy to get out of the active no problem at all and it also has no weakness at all not being weak to psychic is a huge deal here so uh, as you can tell by now this card is meant to be insanely splashable and that's why it's in almost every deck before it got reprinted, the dollar uh, price on uh, this Tapu Lele was 40 bucks or even higher at some specific points uh, in time. But nowadays, because Tapu Lele is getting a re reprint, it will, uh, it'll be dropping down immensely. Uh, the GX move, let's talk about the GX move that Tapu Lele has before we talk about prices and anything for that matter. The GX move is also pretty sweet to heal off two bench Pokemon completely, but only works in decks with unit energy, rainbow energy or psychic energy. So uh, that GX move is a bit optional and a bit occasionally you don't need it in every match but it will surprise people from time to time okay now let's talk about when uh, yeah uh, why Tapu Lele having a reprint is that amazing well uh, just to check it out we are gonna see in what uh, collection box it'll be uh, revealed in well thanks to Poke Beach we have an official image of what the collection box looks like the box will be called Island Guardians GX premium collection box that's a mouthful but it's amazing it holds uh, a promo GX card of Tapu Lele GX Tapu Fini GX not that everybody cares but Tapu Fini is amazing and uh, maybe Green Ninja decks but other than that it's pretty much garbage. <laughs> a Jumbo Tapu Lele GX card and uh, 8 booster packs and as we've seen from the pack currently shown on the product image we see that it also includes uh, the new brand new Sun and Moon 8 packages so uh, we will see Lugia on the cover here, Blaze of Lawn, uh, on the cover so they will both have GX cards in those sets but that's probably for November or even February to say the least. Also 
you get a TCG Online code card to unlock the promo card and the TCG Online program. You can also get a colorful playmat if you buy that product of Ola for Island Guardians and you get a bright metallic Tapu Lele coin to flip your coins. The American version might include a figurine instead of a jumbo card, which the American version always tend to do, but uh, that's not 100% sure. The product will be released in this fall internationally, and just because Japan is uh, having that shiny reprint with a bunch of uh, GX reprints, that's probably the reason that we're getting this product, and uh, it is currently unknown if uh, the promo cards will uh, be SM promos or alternate promos, as we've seen with uh, the alternate promos, think about an alternate art for Sycamore or Regirock, they do not extend the lifespan of a specific card so that means if uh, it's an alternate art Tapu Lele Jax will rotate out as soon as Guardians Rising gets rotated out but if they are SM promos that means that Tapu Lele Jax lifespan will increase immensely for one or maybe even two extra years in the standard format which is huge to think about of course as soon as I have the information I'll be the first to hear about it on uh, facebook.com slash Zapdos TCG okay now let's talk about the bad things uh, first and let's uh, end the video of course with a positive note which I tend to do in almost every video. Firstly, why I personally think it's bad is that it will lower the cost of Tapu Lele GX. Meaning people that bought their Tapu Lele GX is at insane prices. Think about the rainbow uh, rare, the full art or maybe the regular one. Some people uh, actually uh, bought them at a ridiculous price. So they will feel sad, salty and disappointed that this reprint is showing up. This also counts for people that traded a lot to get their hands on Tapu Lele GX. Let's say, oh now I need a Tapu Lele GX. Well, I'm gonna trade, mm, yeah, two balls balls for it, and then now you're sad, like, oh man, why did I do that? It could be the case. Not only that, but uh, reducing the price of certain cards, like Tapu Lele Jax, causes people to buy singles over booster packs. Who in their in their mind would still buy a Guardians Rising pack after this reprinted Tapu Lele shows its face? Exactly, because uh, with this reprint on its way, buying complete competitive decks or buying singles for your deck will become so much cheaper, resulting in people not buying loose booster packs at all and just buying their uh, singles online to get their deck. Except for uh, maybe collectors that want to uh, have a master set or just want to uh, co collect the, uh, the entire set. But uh, here I'm just uh, talking about the players uh, in particular, which is very bad for the company. They will just, all the players will maybe just buy singles over packs. Another bad thing that uh, as soon as people heard about this news, the market is floating right now with Tapu Lele GX. They're going in overload. Uh, everybody's selling their copies right now because they're afraid that they won't get the uh, the right amount of value out of them as soon as the reprint gets, shows its face. I've already seen Tapu Lele GX go for 10 bucks instead of the 40 bucks that it was the week before. So uh, if you're checking out Facebook selling groups uh, like Verbank City, uh, for example, uh, you also have a, a store right there where you can just buy cards. Well, you will see the same thing over and over and over again it's quite annoying seeing that many Tapu Lilis. Now let's talk about the good news. To finish off the video, I adore the fact that Tapu Lele GX is getting a reprint because more players, more new players will get into the game. Mark my words. The game is now accessible to a whole new generation of people since most people's reasoning for not be getting competitively was to Tapu Lele GX being way too expensive or pricey and that's why they couldn't have a great deck so they didn't decide to start in the first place because they were discouraged that Tapu Lele GX was so expensive. Now that issue has been completely completely fixed by the Pokemon company, everybody uh, that uh, wants to start playing competitively can now just buy this amazing product, you already have a playmat with it, you can have your Tapu Lele and you are already uh, all halfway there to create your first very competitive deck. Cards like Boswell Jax and Zoroark Jax also came as promos so you can maybe buy a Zoroark box together with a Lele box and you're already good to go, uh, opening some packs, trading and stuff and uh, by the time you're finished with opening your packs you can trade and out of nowhere you'll have your first deck so you can almost make every competitive deck thanks to these great products and that is very nice because you don't have to rely on luck to just draw them in the or actually get them in a booster pack so very easy to pick up and start the competitive scene and not only in real life on the TCG online, online program as well remembering waiting days and days until somebody finally accepted your trade for a Tapu Lele Jax or maybe those crazy trades where they just give you a Padu for Tapu Lele and you have to scroll down immensely because everybody wants Tapu Lele. Well, those days are finally gone. Amazing, right? Because Tapu Lele GX will also be uh, kind of accessible in the TCG Online program thanks to that TCG Online code card in the box. I also enjoy that uh, they changed the art because I do like alternate arts and uh, this art is, uh, in my opinion, way better. It looks very cute. Also, now that much, much more players are getting into the game, it'll make tournaments that more uh, exciting because 
because uh, there will be much more entertaining with loads and loads of new people, new faces, the community growing, and tournament pers- uh, participation records being broken here and there. So it's very healthy for the competitive scene. Uh, the boundaries of uh, starting uh, just, uh, yeah, the competitive scene is just completely gone now. The border is gone. Uh, everybody just can uh, start freshly making an attack with Tapu Lele, which is awesome. And since this game is the best game in the entire world, according to me, I think we can conclude that the Tapu Lele reprint is very nice. Very unfortunate for the people that bought Tapu Lele at a huge price, but very nice for new players getting into the game. But what do you awesome subscribers think about Tapu Lele getting a reprint? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Tell me why in the comment section below and let's get this discussion started. And that pretty much wraps it up once again. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, subscribe for more Pokemon TCG content like this and I'll see you all in the next Pokemon video. I'm out. Peace. If you wanna go and test a deck that isn't played a lot Then it's format and listen to what I'll say If you wanna go and try it out with me Let me know how it does in a tournament I think it could be really great Chilling on Sundays, while new ideas pop in my brain